All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how we can uh, get started with the Paragon app. Um, I'm just doing this because people are asking for it. So um, we're going to start at the website here. I'm going to download it, uh, and it should give you an MSI. Um, if you have an issue where your AV is uh, saying there's a detection, there's a weird edge case where that happens, um, or something like this where Firefox gives you a question mark, um, you could check that this is our publisher is verified. Um, we've gotten our, our business checked and everything. So uh, make sure that that you're downloading something that has our signature on it. Uh, it says calculated.gg LLC. Um, so we're going to run this, um, get it installed. Uh, it may or may not ask you for administrator permissions. Um, depends on your configuration on your computer, but it should take a second like it did here. Um, yep, it asked me for it. So I click yes. Uh, you can also click the launch Paragon button when you're done. So uh, notice that I've started it with uh, Rocket League closed. Um, that's important. All right, so uh, once we get the app opened and you have this, uh, this onboarding, it's gonna give you some information about um, you know, what the app does and what you can do. Um, and you know, it's, although it's not quite a tutorial, it gives you a little rundown of what the app, what's possible with the app. Uh, so what we wanna make sure is we wanna make sure that the, the plugin and uh, Vacus Mod are both installed. Um, you can click these buttons to, well, this one will check the status, this one will update the plugin um, if it's not there already. If you want to force an update, you can click it and it'll update it uh, manually. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that um, we have a folder that has Rocket League replays in it. So um, in this case, uh, my Rocket League plugin or my Rocket League folder is in a different um, drive than par what Paragon expects. So I'm just going to copy over exactly where it is. And then it should tell me that there's 100, you know, 1,229. So that's too many. Um, and some of these replays are from when I started playing in 2015. So we limit it to the most 100, the, the most recent 100, because it just makes more sense. You're going to have, you know, 600 plus shots uh, there. And it's probably going to be a good amount of data for most people. So you can hit parse replays. And what's going to happen is you can see up here. Uh, we're going to be parsing the replays at the top. There's a little progress bar. So the bright blue is telling you what's been parsed parse successfully. The dark blue is the error, which there are going to be some errors. Um, some older replays can be have some issues with our automated parser, um, and there's some weird edge cases. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. And then there's the, the, the dotted line, which you saw before, was uh, replays that have yet to be parsed. So hopefully it'll be fairly quick. Um, there's going to be an error message that says fails to connect because we don't have the the, the the game open yet. Um, and there's this red indicator here that will also tell you whether or not you're connected. Um, so you can even close this out if you want. Uh, so if we go to replays right now, we have, um, here's our list of, uh, of replays. And obviously we can't do anything because the game's not loaded. So what we're gonna make sure is we have Bacchus Mod installed and everything. I'll start the game up. <clears throat> and what will happen is um, if, uh, once once the app is installed, it'll automatically insert uh, something into Bacchus Mod to tell it to autom automatically load the plugin. Um, so that's going to be important for when you're just playing casually and you want to save the data that you're, um, you're, you're creating by playing. So what will happen is the background, it'll save these replays and then it'll give you the option to, uh, you, know, you know, parse them later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, free play. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen is uh, we'll have the, when we have the app open and, uh, and Rocket League open, um, hopefully the connection will, it'll auto connect um, if you open Rocket League after the, uh, after the app is opened. Uh, otherwise you can always go in here and there'll be a connect button underneath the plugin status. There's also should be some indicator here, a notification that has a retry button if you wanna also do that. Um, but we wanna make sure that the plugin's loaded for that. So we're in free play now and what we can do is we can go through our replays and we can click any of the shots so we want to, you know, you, you see you see the preview, you're like, oh, that looks cool. You want oh, a double touch pass. Um, just hit play, and it'll send the shot over. And you could do this. Uh, you can all tab. Um, unfortunately, with Rocket League, it's a full screen game, so that means we're limited to what um, you know. This is what we can show on screen. So uh, that's why we have the play this feature. So um, you know, you can play the shot. So I'm going to do that here, hopefully. Yep. And it's uh, windowed mode, so it's a little weird. Oh, well, he saved it. Um, so yeah, so you can play your shot out, score it, great, good job. But you know, it's a little annoying to do that, to all tab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own playlist um, so that we can deal with this uh, and not have to worry about all tabbing back and forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit, go over here and hit create playlist. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create, you know, auto-generate a new a name for us. 
um, and this is empty. So what we want to do to add the playlist, add stuff to the playlist, you can either hit add random shots, which is great. It'll add 100 shots uh, randomly, and that's usually you know games that you've been in, so it's a good level of quality. But if you want to make your own, uh, we'll hit play to load it. And what that will do is allow us to go into the replays, and now you see this little plus button. And so we can just add whatever you know whatever shots we want. So if I wanted a couple here, some aerials, some 3v3 passes, whatever. Um, you know, get 8, 10, 100. There's no real limitation there. Uh, there is a limitation if you try to share it with that many, but I think it's about 100. Um, but that's usually a lot more than training packs usually are, so people are okay with that. So what's going to happen now is we are in the playlist. So if we hit send shot again, now we're loaded. Um, and you can see that there's some instructions on screen where we can go back and forth um, between the the shot. So if you hit right on the D-pad um, or M, it'll get you the next shot. Uh, if you hit N or D-pad left, it'll go uh, backwards. And then if you hit B, it'll toggle the replay mode. So if you want to watch the shot again or anything like that. Um, and yeah, so then you can just keep doing this, go back and forth between your shots and, uh, and practice like that. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. Um, somebody will help you try to troubleshoot any of your issues. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy.